Previously on Drake Paragon. Ready for your first full day? <laughs> We're covered with flies. Yeah. Yeah, little flies all there. Wow, they're all over the boat. After the salt or something, who knows? Walking past the fishing nets, we came across some blue storage containers and a massive pelt from some kind of animal. What the hell is that? Everyone had a great night's sleep, our first since we had left Newfoundland, and we were ready to tackle the day. On the way into town, we met Jan, a Norwegian cruiser we'd met the previous day, who offered to walk with us and give us some insight into the local area. With passports in hand, we wondered what this checking in process would be like. Maybe bring one of these? Yeah, we can brush her. <laughs> They were very friendly, smiling. He just wanted to see our passports. He stamped our entry into Greenland, took uh, our passports and my ship's documentation and uh, made a photocopy of it and uh, said, that's it. So nothing to fill out um, and no, no specification of any terms, like how long we can stay here. He just said, where are you going? Where are you going next? And we said Iceland, and he didn't ask when. Um, but he said, wow, you're on a great voyage. It was nice. Hi, Poppy, what are you doing? That's right, let's go try to get clean. <laughs> to the showers. Which way to the showers? Land Navigator. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need no GPS. No stinking GPS, man. <laughs> Land Navigator is not for children under six. Small parts make us children. <laughs> Ridiculous <laughs> sense of humor. Oh. Interesting that hose going down the hill. I wonder what it's carrying. Probably fresh water. Six. 
six divided by five. So I could be wrong. I think this is eight dollars. Hello kitty. It's like five and a half dollars. I wish I knew what kind of meats some of these were. But everything's shrink wrapped. That's cool. We need to figure out what the exchange rate is. I just took out a thousand Danish kroners out of the ATM machine and I don't really know how much. That's like uh, $200? Yeah, it's like 500 kroner. 500 kroners. Okay. Here's a box of red wine produced in Spain for 359 krona. So you divide that by five and it turns out being $71. Orange juice, divide by five and it's about $4 for the three. Okay, that's not too bad. Thing of ketchup is $8. <laughs> Two dollars for a box of milk. We should definitely stock up on milk then. That's cheaper than in the States. A box of red wine is $75, so... Yeah. So except for wine, none of these prices look... Wow, a cup of noodles for three bucks. What's that? Tea lights are big ones. Oh my god, they're huge! Yeah, they're not messing around with their tea lights here, huh? like tea and crumpet. <laughs> <laughs> Want to go to the cafe and see if they have internet and if not the hotel? Yeah. Let's do it. So here's Cafe Pamute where maybe they have some Wi-Fi, we don't know. So, this much, yeah? 150 for all three? Yeah. 150 for all three? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. What's your name? Inedic. Inedic? Yeah. And I'm Aina. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Morning. Morning. Inedic. 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 That's strange. Hi. Hi. So she brought us up here. We're in this very clean, lovely, uh, it's like a common room for the hotel. Maybe they serve meals up here as well. And she brought us uh, some towels and it's another little common room in here. There's television and uh, magazines. Down the hallway here, looks like there are rooms and the bathrooms are in here. And a lovely shower. It is 50 kronos for a shower per person. And we think right now that the exchange rate is about five to one, so that's about $10 uh, per person per shower. Mm -hmm. But I really need a shower. That was amazing. It was just like insanely hot. Yeah. I actually like, I turned it way up and then I'm like, whoa, whoa. Like I got in and I felt a little lightheaded. Yeah. I have to turn it down and then I just like sat there. And then... 
had a wash, I had a shave. Like I can feel my hair is actually like clean, clean, clean. Like it, you know, it was like, you could barely run my fingers through one of them. My mother is on Facebook, my brother is not. Here's the hotel's Wi-Fi area. We're spending a hundred kroner for two hours. Hundred kroner is working out to be about 20 bucks, so 10 bucks an hour. It's a nice little place to hang out and use the Wi-Fi. I think that's from reindeer. Maybe a hunter lives there. So we met Jan yesterday after we pulled in. He said that a great place to get a really cheap meal is down by the fishing boat dock where they have some sort of deal going on for the fishermen, but anybody can go. Jan's boat down there. What is that? Hello. Wow. It's not, it's not difficult. <laughs> Roll the frilling in the mass. Nice whisker pull. Thank you so much. This is wonderful. What a treat. Smells like fish. What is that? Looks like hot dogs. Super. In Scandinavian, I think it's called Pitti Panna, which means, you know, various stuff in the, in the frying pan. Various stuff in the frying pan. That's actually what it means. So you need the yellow or the blue. We need the yellow or the blue. You can't even get into the western side yet. The Danish Ice Service produces ice charts of Greenland year-round. These charts show ice concentration, age, and flow size in a simple oval form referred to as the egg code. C or D you could do. Yeah, that should be okay. We can go on the inside. You'll maybe come around here and down that, and then enter through here? Yeah. Wow. So it's always moving. They said be careful of where you go in, because within a very short time, things can change. And you might not be able to get back up. The good thing is, there is also a weather station right at the outlet here. 
where you absolutely can get the information at least. Okay. Right. Okay. About the ice. About the ice. Mm -hmm. How long does it take to go through Prince Christian Sound? Um, the total length I think is about 16 or miles. There are a couple of places they say you can anchor under certain conditions. It's not an easy place, but the alternative after going around 100 miles. Yeah. A day and a half, maybe two. So for us that makes it, instead of a little more than four days, it makes it six or seven. The trouble is, if you get fog as well, our radar, most of the icebergs you'll see, yeah. not all. Uh.